Hello students! Happy New Year! Welcome back! I am looking forward to having a great academic session with you. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss uniform circular motion. The most essential learning competency for today's lesson is to infer quantities associated with circular motion such as tangential velocity, centripetal acceleration, tangential acceleration, and radius of curvature. Circular motion is the movement of the body along the circumference of a circle or rotation along a circular path. The most common example of circular motion include an artificial satellite orbiting the Earth at a constant height, gears in a gas turbines, a ceiling fan's blade rotating around the hub, a car turning to a curve in a racetrack, and blades in a windmill. When a body moves in a circular path with a constant or uniform speed, the motion is called uniform circular motion. The formula for calculating circular velocity is equal to V is equal to 2 pi R divided by T, where R is the radius of a circular orbit and T is the time or the period. The distance of one complete cycle around the perimeter of a circle is known as the circumference. The circumference of any circle can be computed using the radius according to the equation C is equal to 2 pi r. An object moving in a circle is experiencing an acceleration. Even if moving around the perimeter of a circle with a constant speed, there is still a change in velocity and subsequently an acceleration. This acceleration is directed towards the center of a circle and called a centripetal acceleration. The acceleration of an object moving in a circle can be determined by either of these two equations. A sub c is equal to v squared divided by r or a sub c is equal to 4 pi r squared divided by t squared where r is the radius of the circle and t is the period or the time. According to the Newton's second law of motion, an object which experiences an acceleration must also be experiencing a net force. Remember that the direction of the net force is the same direction as the acceleration. So for an object moving in a circle, there must be an inward force acting upon it in order to co cause its inward acceleration. The net force is given by the following equation. F net is equal to MA or the mass multiplied by acceleration. F net is equal to M multiplied by V squared divided by R. And F net is equal to M multiplied by 4 pi squared times R divided by T squared where m is the mass, v is the velocity, r is the radius, and t is the period. In non-uniform circular motion, there is a tangential acceleration in addition to centripetal acceleration. The direction of tangential acceleration is tangent to the circle, whereas the direction of the centripetal acceleration is radially inward toward the center of the circle. Tangential acceleration is simply the derivative of the velocity at any given point. So this is the summary of all the formulas discussed in this lesson. Okay, thank you. See you in our next lesson.